babe, two bags of rice? That's too much. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not too much. For your sake, nothing is too much. Come on, this is too much. How many people are going to finish two bags of rice? You know, two... Oh, honey, for your sake, okay? <laughs> nothing. She's oh, around. Hey, Mila. Ah, Chisan, what is it? Hi! Miriam, Igwe Ikemba collapsed during a meeting in the palace. What? Collapsed? How? The doctor diagnosed him of kidney failure. Oh my god. His kidney is badly damaged. But how? Why? What happened? The elders are looking for a kidney donor. As I'm talking to you right now, the villagers have asked their sons and daughters not to come back to the kingdom for now. Hmm. This situation is high as a high tension. Mm. But why? Why would they do that? Are you sure? Even my uncle has asked his son to leave the village immediately. His son that Igwe Kemba sponsored his business with 5 million naira. And he has no option than to obey his father. As I'm speaking to you right now, he has left the village. That's too bad. That's too bad. A kidney donor. Hey! <sighs> Oh my God, my husband, this is not true. Hey. You see, honey, unfortunately it is true. You see, all the youths, all of them, they denied us a help. What not is even one person. What is this? Not single person, not one. What? You see this world, this world we are living in. It is good for one to fall sick sometimes, so that you know who is who. Hey. Eh? People are very, very ungrateful. Alright, I thought by the time I will get to that very palace, I will see a crowd of people pushing each other. Eh? Men, women, old, young, trying to donate their, their, their kidneys. So they are evil because of his denovelence. But you know what? The reverse was the case. So, Papa, what are they going to do now? Are they going to fly him abroad? Miriam, my daughter, the Onohu said that we should wait a bit to see whether there will be a youth, at least one youth. Who will come as a result of second thought to come and donate his kidney so, so as to save the life of Igwe? This is unbelievable. So not even from our neighboring kingdom. Are they not aware? All the people he touched their lives one way or the other, none could donate his kidney. Everyone is scared. And in fact, some of them are not even interested. But I saw Otenko crying and lamenting that he wants to donate his kidney, if possible, all his body parts. But they refused him. Honey, let's talk of people that matter. Eh? Otenko, even if he has succeeded in giving his uh, kidney or what, it will have been detrimental to the health of the king. A drunkard like him, his kidney must have been the, you know, riddled with uh, kidney sclerosis because of uh, too much of alcohol. Huh? We are talking about the youths here. The youths who have benefited from the benevolence of the white lion himself. Huh? 
the Igwe has flown most of them to various parts of the globe to, 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 to better their lives. Eh? Eh? Most of them wouldn't have had the opportunity of seeing the, 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 the wheel of an aircraft, let alone entering inside it. Yet he did it for them. And I was even surprised that they did not mention it even in the village was a platform. It is that bad. What a kingdom. Sad. So, so sad. My darling. <laughs> I remember telling you that no one in your kingdom cares about you. But you never believed me. You didn't. So sorry about my manners. <laughs> I also remember telling you that Miriam will never sacrifice her life for you also. Neither will I, my darling. <laughs> King. Ikemba, you are dying slowly, slowly, and there is nothing you or anyone can do about it. Rubbish. You are ready to sacrifice your life for the king. What do you mean by you can't? I said I can't donate my kidney. And please, don't ask me such stupid questions again. <clears throat> you can't you do it? Ah, can you imagine? Why are you even attacking her? Ah! Eh? I never said, I never said I was going to die for a king. Mm. She was the one chanting and saying that she, she, she wished to sacrifice her life. She wished to prove her love for the king. Now we need a kidney donor. You've suddenly gone mute. You are mad. I don't blame you. Oh, you want me to go and die? Excuse me. Beto, she was the one that said she wanted to sacrifice her life for the king. Oh, you think it's by cleaning his chambers? Idiot. But wait, though. The youth of this village baffles me. So not even one beneficiary could come out to donate his or her kidney for the king. This yeah. is strange. This, this, this is not good. Huh. This is not good. This is strange. Did you see the kind of cars they came in here My with? My sister is so... Showing enough cars to tell us that they've made it in life. Huh? Ah. Hey. Oh, wow. Life no balance. So. At all, my sister. No balance at all. Helping human being. A scam. Big scam. Scam! Who <laughs> be lying? Hello? What are you with? I should donate my kidney? No! Did I hear you correctly? Oh no. Why are you forcing people to donate? And why are you even forcing her to donate her kidney? What happened to your own kidney? Or oh, don't you have kidney? Is it not good for donation as well? Tell me! Well, I, 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 listen. Let the chairman listen to me. No more Ajo, Makimo, Kankitala. I have every right to bark like a mad dog, but that's not the issue. No one is asking you to donate your own kidney, no. All we are asking you to do is to use your personality, pave the way, carry us along, reach out to at least our children, at least those that have benefited from Ikemba's care initiative. That is what we are saying. That is just what we are saying. Oh no. With all due respect, I cannot do that. I cannot do that! Then I will revoke your position in this palace. 
Whatever right you have here, I will revoke it. I will do that. You can't do that. I can do that. Oh no, you cannot do that. I, the Prime Minister of this Kingdom, can do that. I am the chair lady. And you have no right, no position that gave you the right to seize our oppression. You cannot do that. I, I can do that. Oh no, hold on. I, I don't understand what is going on here. Why do I have this feeling that we are faced with a difficult prospect of helping our own? The almighty king you all profess. A man you say you loved. At this critical time, nobody is willing to donate. Let me just make it very clear to everybody, in case if you are too blind to see. If within one week nothing is done, the king will die. From the medical point of view, even if, by, by any way, by the grace of God, the king makes it in a week time, I am not sure the king is going to make it in the upper week. And all of us are seated here arguing over how to help a man that we claim we love so much. We know who is one side arguing, the lady is one side arguing. What is going on? Well, I'll find the no use. Oh no, I am asking you. No use. I beg my sons. I beg, I beg, I beg. They refused. I told them it's just a kidney. It wouldn't kill. None of them agreed. Okay, bring money. Let us look for a donor. They refused. Hey, is this how our ego will die? But no. Do you know that since I brought this issue up in my family, my children stopped talking to me. They stopped picking my calls. All of them. Oh no, I understand how you feel. And I would want you to calm down. You are a man. You need to, you need to calm down. Doctor, doctor, uh, you, you want to understand. Uh, uh, can you please take mine? No, 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 it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. You're weak. We can't just possibly take your, your own kid. It's not possible. Do anything possible, anything you can, to save the life of my king, please. Please. I, 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 this, this is out of it, please. I understand. I understand. We are doing everything possible. We are trying our best to see how we can fly him out of this country. The only constraint we have is that there is no time. And that is what I'm saying. Everybody, they have all deserted the king. Everyone has run away. Even the chiefs, all the chairs deserted our king. Please, do whatever you can, please. Can you take my own kidney and save my king? Like I said before, it's not possible for us to do that. But I will want you to take things easy. <laughs> Doctor, it is not possible to calm down when you cannot calm down. Understand it? I, I do. P please. No, no. People will laugh at us. You don't, you don't need to begin to consider what people will say. Because even if you do the right thing or the wrong thing, people will still laugh at no, you. No, no, no. Okaka, to be the king of this kingdom? No. No. Doctor, no. People should not laugh at us. Please do the best you can. Save my king. We'll try our best. Calm down. Doctor, doctor, please. Find a way to adjust the system. Take my kidney, please. Just calm down. Doctor, take my kidney. I, I understand the curiosity. Just calm down. You, you won't understand. I do. It is not possible to calm down where you cannot calm down, doctor. That, that's uh, what I'm saying. No, no. Why is line not going on? We need to seal up this deal tonight. Hmm?
Father, why did you do it? What I do or did not do is not subject to be questioned by you. Why did you have to go this far? Hmm? Is it for the money? Power? Or for the fact that there is a man whose will you cannot bend? If you cannot suffer this victory with me, then you shut up. I need to know why you did that to King Ikemba. He is going to die. You are my father. I need to know why the man that betted me is so evil. Evil! Father, please tell me. I need to know. At this moment, you don't speak to your father. You speak to your king. And do you dare question your king? Get out of my room before I lose my temper. Get out! Your friend and king is dying. You left him to die. I thought you loved him. My king will not die. And yes, I love him. And you can't change that fact. So, why are you scared? Hmm? Go and see him. You know you are going to die. You are scared of death. Huh? I will not die. No, my darling, you will die. You will die because I know that you have just one kidney. One. Oh! You are surprised on how I got to know. I am a wealthy princess. If I snap my finger like this, every information I want concerning anyone will fall begging at my feet. <laughs> Obina here gave you one of his kidney and saved you from death. Hmm? And that is why you love him so much to the point of not listening to all the love words and feelings of your king. <laughs> hmm. I thought as much. I asked myself, who is this woman that will reject a handsome, intelligent, rich, and famous king like King Ikemba. <laughs> I must confess, it has been such a long time. I've not seen a woman that has such courage, such determination towards her man. Kudos to you. My darling, you are not a cheat. You have to leave now, princess. <laughs> Your wedding is in two days. Congratulations.
smoking me. It's okay. I love you for who you are. Okay. My lord. Igwe. Be strong. You are the white lion. The Kaji Ejemba. I see the girl around go be near Jemu and help her. You cannot bow out this way. For if you do, the vulnerable animals will fear for their lives. But can I wait and help number? Be brave. Be strong. Keep breathing. But if your spirit, your soul, becomes weak and weary, then I may not have any choice than to do the needful. Makona bundu di abia wa hando kanga ba kaya. I will have no choice than to do the needful. <sighs> My fellow elders, I greet you all. Our people say, a stitch in time saves none. It is only when you actually don't know what you are doing. That is when what you don't know how to do will elude you. I want to announce to all of us here without <clears throat> wasting our time. We, the elders, representing the three villages of Obodoma, have agreed without missing words to a throne chief Agu here as our next Igwe after the demise of the white lion. <laughs> ah, but you know. How dare you open your mouth and vomit that load of rubbish? When cabinet member like me have not even thought of that. The truth of the matter here is that you don't even have any authority whatsoever to change what we have decided in this palace. Amazon. You are just an auxiliary cabinet member. Have you forgotten that? You called who an auxiliary cabinet member? How dare you? How dare you call me an auxiliary cabinet member? You are an auxiliary cabinet member. Uh -huh. You are the down. one. If I should be afraid of uh -huh. animals with horns, uh -huh. let me you now. Shut up. Let me walk on now. Enough. Enough. Enough of this. I will dislocate your jaw. You Sit cannot. Down. Sit down. Sit down. Why are you doing this? Huh? Are you kids? The Igwe is dying, jactitating inside the chambers on his sick bed, and you all are here huffing and puffing. Is that how you do your meeting here in the palace? Huh? I mean, that, that's quite preposterous. Here we should be talking about the solution, not even about trying to enthrone another Igwe. One of our local pro, uh, uh, proverbs, he says that uh, 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 a tree should not still be alive and people start talking about harvesting mushroom on its trunk. Yes. That is bad. I took an exception to that. So let everybody behave in herself. Look, you are not even a cabinet member. Uh -huh. So you have to keep quiet and listen. Our yeah. Igwe is dying, according to his doctor. Yes. 
like I said earlier, we have agreed to a throne chief Aku here as our next Igwe after the demise of the West Lab. Excuse me, Mr. Cabinet Member. Assuming our Igwe did not kick the bucket at the end of the day, what will you do? Will you resort to euthanasia? I mean, mercy killing or strangling him whatsoever to enthrone a king for this kingdom. Not even when our king is still alive. Oh, you are interested in our oil. That is why you are doing all these things. You would have come out open now. <sighs> I kept quiet because I am not the kind of person that barks like a mad dog. Not me. Betrayal. I remember what my father told me in those old good days. That no na boko sisi daluana wanye feyenu. Unfortunately, that is true. When a mighty tree falls, a woman crosses the tree fearlessly. Are you trying to tell me that both of you will have the God to rise and face each other, to back at each other, almost ready to fight each other? If the king, if the king, if the white lion is strong and standing or sitting on his throne, can you do that? Hi. You are staring at me. Betrayal. Can you do that? You cannot, of course. Betrayal. It's quite unfortunate for both of you. However, I, as the prime minister of this kingdom, hereby declare this meeting baseless, useless, nonsense, Mbalo. and closed. Mbalo, no. No, 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 we cannot have with all due respect. You cannot do that. In fact, you can't even say that. The Council of Iches have elected me as their next Igwe. Sure. Instead of thinking of how to crown me as the next king, you, you are here doing all this. In fact, if you don't want to crown me, Igwe Okaka will do that. I am the Prime Minister of this kingdom, and the kingmaker. Oh. And I have said it. This meeting, as far as I'm concerned, as far as Obodoma Kingdom is concerned, is baseless, useless, and nonsense. Oh, oh right I see. Up. You want to be crowned the king so you can now come for our oil and sand. You. Oh. And I talk about in the way. This sort of meeting will never repeat itself. Onogu is a very stupid, hopeless, huh? and useless human being. Just imagine. I don't blame him because he's as short as Peter Kula. If not, if not, why will Ono disagree with our decision that Chief Apple should become the next Igwe? Eh? Who is contending that? Who? Ono who cannot. None of the Igwe and council members can. Eh? But whether they like it or not, Chief Ako is going to become a Igwe. And none of them can do anything about it. Oh no, he's a very stupid man and he knows it, of course. Why are you even bothering yourselves? Chief Aku is going to be our next Igwe. Sure. All we need to do now is pray so that the Igwe dies immediately. Ah. Thereafter, we install Chief Aku as our next Igwe. Ah. Simple as that. As for Ikemba, we don't need to pray about him. He's going to die either this night or tomorrow morning. He will become a dead. The stupid or no, what he has failed to know is that once Chief Aku becomes our next king, yes. Windows of prosperity open to our our com our yes, community. Exactly. A lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities we call. Yeah. I look at him walking walking like walking like tortoise. Who is he? Don't mind As me. a matter of fact, just not the, uh, it is not between us and, and him. Oh because yes. If he thinks that some people because he has is it because he has the opportunity of becoming the know and the truth is hey, once she for the the the, 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 the Igwe, Igwe, yes. eh, we have we have windows of
this money is from Shifako. <laughs> he said he's very glad that the three of us, the three important men, yes. I mean, the three wise men of this great kingdom are on his side. <laughs> exactly. We are solidly behind him. <laughs> you know, Igwe Kimba is dead. Or do I say he's almost dead? Ah, he will soon die. And custom demands that when an Igwe is packing up to join his ancestors, yes. someone should be warming up. Exactly. We must crown Shifako. That's it. Imagine a king in this modern era. Ah. Just how can he reject the beautiful offer from Iguokaka? I imagine. Then that means he does not want our kingdom to be recognized as one of the oil producing kingdoms. Of course, that's it. He wants to deny us of the good benefits that will come from the government. And that is the more reason we should fight hard, push hard for us to achieve this project. My elders, I greet you. You are welcome. This is my take on the matter. Before I, the youth leader of this kingdom, will mobilize youths to converse for Chifaku to become the next king of this great kingdom. He will have to give us a sum of 3 million naira and also sign that the money that will be gotten from the oil will not only go to his pocket. Rather, each and every one of us here will benefit from it. You have spoken wisely. This is a very good recommendation you have just made. Thank you. <laughs> uh, My youth leader, you have spoken well. Course. You have nothing to fear. Hmm? Everyone, I repeat, everyone will be adequately taken care of, especially those within the inner caucus that are pushing, <laughs> eh? yes. pushing and fighting for the success of this project. That's good to hear. The light that shines so bright amongst his people. The river that never dries. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the King. You are everything your people see in a ruler. But you must remember, behind every progressive man there is a beautiful woman behind every progressive man there should be a wise and accommodating woman you are beginning to hate my people too much julie and i ask you today what have my people done to you I never hated your people or hate your people. They are my people as well. I am the first lady in this kingdom as far as leadership is concerned. All I am telling you is for you to be careful with these people. You have to be careful with these men for they are like ungrateful Jews in the land. Be their Jesus, they will still crucify you. I wouldn't want my Lord to feed these vipers that will still stink you tomorrow. You are the viper. You are the viper. 
Juliana. Anyone who tries to come between me and the love I have for my people is a snake. You are the viper. Well, I see a dark future looming. I see these people craving, striving, and praying so hard for you to be pulled out. I am the white lion. I am Igwe Ikemba. I am indestructible. Juliana, today I bring an end to this union, for you are not qualified to be the queen of this kingdom. I beg your pardon. You are going to be hearing from my lawyers. Get your things together. And leave the palace at once. Oh my gosh! Iken! Ikenba! Tender, just like a seed that grew and blossomed into a beautiful love story. I know you don't want to see me cry or say some hurtful words. You have always been my friend. You have always been my love. You have always been my everything. The lion that shields my heart with boldness and confidence. I will never let you turn your face from your people. I will always pray for you. I will continue to pray that your people don't turn their faces against you when you need them most. so much about you. I will always be there for you. Whether you call me or not. May you reign forever. My Lord My hero, the white lion. My first love. Bye.
Your Majesty. The office of the First Lady of this Kingdom. The Queen of Obodama. Is hereby closed. Indefinitely. Uh, uh, your Majesty. Oh no. I am not going to dwell on this matter. Please. I'm sorry, so sorry, Your Majesty. Is that okay? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. They leave their imprints on the sands of time. They are the pillars and lifters of all the men. Deacon, the white lion, your authors and more. The world needs you now more than ever. We all miss you, our great stallion. We all can't wait to have you back on your feet again. We love you. I No. Why we are here mm. tonight is to let you know that if anything happens to our king, if we look for our king, we don't see him. Maybe he joins his ancestors untimely. We will then submit your name to Ezemu as our next king. Okay, yeah. Haibia. Um, oh no, let me say it outrightly to the hearing of everybody here now that I have no interest at all for becoming the next Igwe of this kingdom. And as a matter of fact, I am praying fervently for the quick recovery of my Igwe. Believe me when I say this that I have a very strong faith that Igwe Kemba is not going to die. If he dies, means I'm going to abdicate my religion. My dear brother, do not talk like that. We are only but a passing phase in this cruel world. Everybody, I mean everybody, we answer 
the Creator at the appointed time through either illness or sudden death. So, what I am telling you now is that amongst all the mortals in this kingdom, you are the only one that we have found to be honest. This is what I want you to know right now. I am not ready to take up that task. And he will come back. He's not going to die. One does not boil hot water, believing he will fall down from a tree. So, my brother, we should not decide for the gods. But I have always said it with confidence that that good man is not going to die. We are all confused. Yes. But we have to relax our minds, pray, make sacrifices, and continue seeking for solution. The palace may be divided, but it's my prayer that that doesn't lead to anarchy. Um, Mazel Noah. Yes, we can always say anything we feel like saying, but the truth naturally remains what it is. Let me tell you this. Ichi Okeke and others came out so plainly for us to understand that they truly are the flies that perch under the school room. Yes. Hmm? Yes. But I tell you, naturally and chemically, they will pay for all their deeds. Definitely. I, the Unu of this kingdom, we not watch Ichiaku become the king of this land. Eh eh. It does not happen. It is not possible. The Aku in question is so close a friend to Igbo Okaka, remember? And it is a pre planned arrangement to bring Aku as the king of this land so that he can defile our land and grant an opportunity for Igbo Kaka to become a force, a strong force over us in this kingdom, which is not possible. My elders and husbands, please do not relent in striving for peace. Yes. For the sake of our children mm -hmm. and posterity, That's I why. beg of you. Um, that's exactly what we are doing. And I don't think uh, there will be war. No, there don't. won't be any problem. No, at, all. Good. at the end, I believe the wheat will be separated from the chaff. Mm. That's yes. one thing I know. Thank you. Thank you for your pacifist stand. And again, and again, I believe the good man is not going to go down. You have been told not to dictate for the gods, for you are not the gods. The gods see father, they know better. Many wish him dead. The Igwe is still tossing and turning on his sick bed inside his chambers. While the chairs are busy planning for his replacement. Simply because the doctor says that there is no hope. Eh? This is the zenith of insensitivity I've ever seen. Going to th three days now. Three days, no single person has come up to Denedes. No donor at all, none. Hey! 
This is how they want this good man to die. People are wicked though. All the people that have benefited from this man, they've all run away. Hmm? People are so wicked and heartless. Hey! That's the world for you. I mean, that's why a good king or even a good man should not expect a reciprocation for his uh, uh, benevolence from people. I mean, th th that is heartbreaking. But then what can we do? Nothing. Eh? You will try to clothe them with kindness and love. Then they will tear the cloth and tell you to your face that you are trying to kill them. It's unfortunate. Generous King Guy, Ochi don't know when you're there, no one. If I get in, no one can't. A bella put on my name, if we get my one. The white lion, nigga, the only way to see Bobby, Sally, Sally, a chef for give up. Chef for give up. You know the best thing for money. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? What can we do? He's helping the people. Man of good will, he want you. He know the ask for reward. Maka why? Oji kasho. 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 He's helping the people, man of good will, he want you. He not the ask for reward, make a wife, but he can show. You are pure in heart, loved by many. He pays you for money, me love to give. I want kingdom is place Having you as our king Your kingship has touched everyone's life May your days be long